This tutorial will guide you through the process of setting up and starting your first print with a Sindo 3D printer. We can start by opening up the Sindo 3D Wax software. This kind of program is called a slicer. It will convert the 3D models that we have into a bunch of stacked layers that can be printed out by our 3D printer. The very first thing we need to set up is the type of our 3D printer. We can do this by going to the settings, then printer settings, and then we just have to choose the printer model. In our case, it's the DP201. This will make sure that the slicer generates a code that is compatible with our model of 3D printer. Next up, we can import a 3D model. This needs to be an STL, OBJ or PLY file. Click the Load folder icon on the top left of the screen, select your 3D file in the browser and click Open and the model will now appear on the build platform. There are three different ways we can move around in the slicer, in order to inspect the model. We can move our point of view around by right-clicking the mouse and dragging. This will orbit the view. We can also pan around by holding the shift button on the keyboard while we are right-clicking the mouse and dragging, and by using the scroll wheel we can zoom in and out. When we now load in some additional models, like a table and an extra chair for example, we can position them on the build plate by simply left-clicking them and dragging them to wherever we like. Whenever you try to drag an object onto another one, it will adjust their positions automatically, to make sure that these do not overlap. And when you position an object outside of the build plate, it will turn grey to let you know that it can't be printed in this location. We can also move our object by using the Move panel on the right of the screen. Here you can manually enter the distance you want to move your object in a certain direction. This panel also gives you the option to move your object to the center of the build plate or to reset its position to the original import location. We can also scale our objects with the Scale menu on the right. In here we can choose a factor or a dimension to scale our object and we also have the option to automatically scale the object to the maximum size within the printing volume. If you are trying to print an object that is too big for the volume of the printer, it will show up in grey again, in order to let you know that your current setup isn't printable. You can even scale the object with a non-uniform scale by unchecking the mark at the bottom and also reset everything to its original values by clicking the reset button. The last option that we have is changing the orientation of our object. In order to do this, we have to open the rotation menu, which is again found on the right side of the screen. Using the buttons, we can easily rotate our object in steps of 90 degrees, around each of the axes. We can also dial in a specific rotation angle, or let the software automatically lay it flat for us. Whenever you want to delete objects from the build plate, you have a few options. You can right-click an object and select Delete Object. You can select an object by left-clicking it, and then pressing Delete or Backspace. Now that you know how to import a model, how to move, scale and rotate it, we will show you how to actually slice it for 3D printing in the next video.